boot here. I'm going to show you what's going on here. Hopefully this will help some people. On uh, the way Ryzen handles uh, borderline memory. Okay. So I'm going to power up my system. And it starts to power up. And it shuts off. Now it will retry this four more times. There's another failure. So what it's doing is it's checking the, the memory. And if it can't talk, it shuts off. Here we go again. Took me a while to figure that this was a memory issue. I thought it was having to do with my um, SATA stuff, powering. Now, after it fails four or five times, it downgrades the memory to stock speed. As you can see, it's now powering up. So what you need to do is get into the BIOS. And so you gotta watch the screen come up when it turns blue start hitting F2 Ooh, it rhymes there it goes there we go so now we're into the the BIOS or the UE oh yeah which Yes, the UEFI BIOS, and you go to OC Tweaker. Now you see right here, it's downgraded it to 2133. Now I had it set up for, for 2933. So what you do is you swing down all the way down to here. Okay, oh, let's stop here just for a second. Uh, the uh, this the VDDCR SOC voltage AMD actually recommends switching this to 1.1 for stability and you always want to use level 5 because that's your tightest calibrations so again we swing back down here you can see and we want to go to load user default and 3.72933 and I put SOC because that meant I fixed that SOC voltage so we click on that and it's been restored so we go all the way back up here and we want to hit exit Save changes and exit. Save configuration, yes. And now we go boom. Oh, dun -dun. oh wow, it's booting. Failed five times before. And this isn't a memory stabiliz stabilization in, in this thing either. Because once this gets up into Windows and boots, and I'll show you this. This thing runs rock solid. It, there is no memory issues. I've even run mem tests and stuff like that. The memory is rock solid. And it's not black screen of death. It's not. Ooh. I've got it. This is not on an SDD. It's on a... It's on an old laptop hard drive. That's a different story. Okay, hit enter. And we're booting up again.
Welcome, my friends. Oh, there we are. Now we're going to finish booting up. Here we go, updating Steam, or checking, verifying installation more than updating. Okay. Now, let's... We don't need Steam. Actually, there's some stuff down here that we don't need. So we can just shut this off. We don't need that. Okay, so... How do you know that you're right? So, CPU-Z, CPU-ID, detection complete. See, we're running at 3700, right there at the core speed. Memory, boom, 1463.7, which doubles up to... Two nine three 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 three. So, so we we're running at two nine three three. So, but is it stable? So let let's do a quick 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 bench here. Now I've noticed that it's this stuff in the background. These aren't going to be high scores, but these will show you that it's stable. Because usually I get a lot higher than that. I mean, I usually get uh, on CPU multi, it's 3,333, and in single core, it's 424. So you can see it's it's running a little lower because here's other stuff going on in the background. Okay. So then you say, well, I mean, that's just a quick, dirty test. So let's uh, do Cinebench. Okay, so let's do Cinebench. And we hit the run button. Run, baby, run. And this is multi-core, so... We're not going to do single-core because that's not really a test of your memory. Almost done. 12 threads go makes it go fast. Boom, all done. 1157. Like I said, there's stuff running in the background. My normal score on this is would be closer to 1243. And a a single CPU is about 150. And they probably got it down here. No. So. But that's still, I mean, that's still just a, a wee bit of a test. What, really, let's really, really test it, okay? Okay, so let's run 3D Mark Time Spy to really, really test it. Okay. So we're going to hit run. And we'll take a couple seconds here. So my good run at this CPU speed and memory speed is my over all score was 4387 with a CPU score of 5880 and a graphics card score of 4199. But I'm using like an old 
laptop hard drive because my SSD still has issues and I haven't bought an M.2 yet.
again. So there we go. Oh, 4-4. Four, four. One, seven. Ooh, that's a good score. And the CPU score was 5938. And the graphics score was 4226. Hmm. Okay, so this is my system. Okay. 8 gig of memory oh, on my graphics card and it's the core clocks at uh, 1330 and the memory bus is at 2025 and my processor is a uh, AMD Ryzen 5 1600 and we're clocking at 37 3.7 gig and it's 12 core and it is, of course, AM4. And then uh, we're running at the bottom here. Of course, it's an ASRock X370 Killer SLI slash AC motherboard. And with uh, 16 gig of memory. And it is clocked at, uh, this is 2.926. It's supposed to be 2.933, but close enough. So, that's the system. So, that's it. And um, this is your crazy old coot wishing you a good evening.